Well, my grandfather was actually, he lived, he, for a while he lived, he lived in Rochester mm -hmm. and he was in the Territorial Army in 1914, 15, just when, he, and then when the war came, he, he, and then he went off to France and, and he signed up for the 10th Royal Fusiliers. Uh, they were based, I think, at the Tower of London. I think they were, they were the Stockbrokers Regiment, they were called. And then he went and he signed up and joined and went out to France. And he was in the, and then he went to the 10th Royal Fusiliers. He managed to start lieutenant, he rose to a captain. And then ju and just before, I think sometime in July 1916, he was near a place called Posiers in France. A German shot him in the arm. And he's, he's uh, number two, I think they called it Batman. He was shot outright and a fellow officer was killed outright, yet my grandfather survived it. His, his arm was in tatters and he was told by a fr French doctor that he had to go back, go to France to have it amputated. But he was then found out that he was another officer in the regiment, said if you go back to England we can do the job easily. So he, he went back to England, had the operation on his arm in, I think it was a hospital, John Ruskin Hospital in Oxford, where they did the job, patched his arm, and he, and he, he didn't have it amputated at all. And then, he, and then he went back to France for a second dose, as they say. He fought at the Somme, as you say, and he was in the 37th Division. He, he went all around the, all various parts of France. After the war, he, he then enlisted in the Second World War, and he, and he went off to, uh, he went out to Russia when the communist, communist and Russian Revolution was on, and he managed, so it had a part in that. And then in the 1940s, he, he, in the Second World War, he went off to Leeds and helped in a, in a a paid job in the Second World War. He, he, did, he, he got all these med medals, that I think they called it Pops Greek and Harry or something like that. After the war, he, he went to Coots Bank. Uh, he became a clergyman. He died in 1978 and, and he's buried here, buried in, in Rochester. And I, I think he did his bit for King and Country and I, and I think he you know, just deserves a mention.